This is Kathy Beal of EmpowermentUnlimited.net with Astro Insight for January 2024. Time is uncharacteristically on our side as 2024 begins. A careful, slow, steady vibe pervades life for most of the month. There's no need to jump into anything. Chew over goals and resolutions, if you like. Allow yourself to ponder and plan. Then act in incremental steps. Saturn is our friend for sure. The planet of time, order, and adulting is a major and steadying player even after life heats up toward the end of the month. Slowness and stillness pervade the first day of the year, which feels like we're all suspended in time, not a disagreeable end to the holiday season. The sensation comes from two planets stationing direct, expansive Jupiter in here and now Taurus, which went direct on December 30th but has not started moving forward yet, and communication overseer Mercury in Sagittarius, chomping at the bit to get going on adventure, but not quite yet. The cosmic slowdown makes it impossible to ignore the challenge to take relationships and finances seriously. Venus squares Saturn on New Year's Day and demands structure, order, commitment, and adulting. Remnants of holiday sparkle turn into work ethic as the first week progresses. A veritable project management impulse takes over when Mars enters Capricorn January 4th, encouraging practical action in deliberate stages with a measure twice, cut once approach. Confusion and fuzzy-headedness bring many simulations of Mercury retrograde. It's not. When the communication planet squares Neptune January 8th, on the plus side, the impact could infuse painstaking thinking with inspiration, a best-of-both-worlds outcome. Then it's back to work. Making goals into reality is the mission January 9th through 12th. Opportunities to work smarter open when Mars sextile Saturn January 9th, then mushroom when the cosmic first responder trines Jupiter January 12th. The two contacts bracket the Capricorn new moon January 11, which distills efforts into long-range possibilities. And yet, there are miles to go before we sleep. Minds, messages, and information channels get on board with the program when Mercury enters Capricorn January 13th. Watch for chances to lock down ideas and firm up agreements when he sextiles Saturn January 18th. Sound boring? Unlikely it'll be after the tumult of recent years and recent months. Look at this stretch as getting your environment and launch pad in order before the excitement hits that's coming later this year. Some of that is already in the air as early as January 20th. Your inner load lightens and major era-ending baggage shedding culminates that day when the sun joins evolutionary change agent Pluto in Capricorn for the last time in our lives. Both then enter Aquarius and the atmosphere changes immediately. Communities, power structures, and our very cells tingle with possibilities that differ from almost all our previous experience. We got an inkling of this shift's potential when Pluto hovered at the doorway to Aquarius from late March to early June 2023. This year, the agent of unavoidable change barely steps through the door till the beginning of September. And for now, he's basically parked in the doorway and adding to the general atmosphere of suspension in time-space. The metamorphosis, both personal and collective, will be gradual. 
Pluto will eventually spend 20 years in this sign, and we will only begin to see the ramifications this year. Still, do pay attention to what's on your radar now. And note especially what feels slightly uncomfortable or out of sync. While he's barely in the doorway, Pluto makes a vaguely difficult link to his earthly co-ruler of money and desire, Venus. An attraction or relationship may not be part of the new regime. Whether you're ready to deal with that is another matter. Relationship and financial issues enter the realm of pragmatism January 23rd. Venus moves into Capricorn and out-of-season Santa baby mode and puts a calculating eye to interactions and endeavors. Lasting value and durability take precedence over excitement and fun. The Leo full moon may inspire dealing with some of that recent discomfort when it brings issues of validation and appreciation to a head January 25th. Nudges follow to act responsibly, especially toward yourself, as the sun semi-sextiles Saturn January 26th. Action begins to mount, finally, and the pace begins to ramp up. Mind and motivation fuse with the Mercury-Mars conjunction January 27th. You're in a stations direct that day, too, and after that, it's all systems go for two months, with nothing retrograde until the beginning of April. Before you run off, take the time to check your footing and ground. Use the sextile from the sun to stabilizing Saturn, January 28th, to put your environment and physical condition in order. Procrastinate, and you may miss the opportunity, because after that, all bets are off. The slow and steady boringness of the year's start blasts into history as Mercury and Mars trine quick change artist Uranus January 28th and 29th. The atmosphere is everything the beginning of the year was not. New ideas and information are erupting. Plot twists are everywhere. Plans and tactics are changing in an instant. Caution and deliberation are in short supply. The new year has arrived at last. The time has come to get going. You'll learn a lot more about 2024 in the annual overview that Donna Woodwell and I are doing. Thursday, January 4th from 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Time U.S. There's a link to sign up at the top page of my site, empowermentunlimited.net. And yes, you'll get a recording. I'm Kathy Beal, a professional astrologer with more than 30 years experience. Visit my site, empowermentunlimited.net, to sign up for my mailing list, listen to my weekly podcasts, and book a session with me. I host the show Celestial Compass on Ohm Times Radio on the first and third Monday of every month at 5 p.m. Eastern. I also host Lively Conversation on Facebook at Empowerment Unlimited and the group The Astro Insight Lounge. I have lots of bonus content at patreon.com slash Kathy Beal, and I'm really grateful to the people who support my work there. I post on threads and Instagram at at Beal and on YouTube at the Professional Aquarian channel.